Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game, and welcome to another Gander video. This one is for a game called Wayward Strand. This is an interactive story game that is being developed by Ghost Pattern. And the description for it is, It's the summer of 1978, and Casey Baumaris is trying to make the most of her holidays when her mom asks her to spend a long weekend helping out at the airborne hospital where she works. Casey prefers the company of books to people, but she agrees, secretly planning to write an article about her visit for the school newspaper. With her trusty notebook at the ready, Casey arrives on board the airship. The staff are overworked as they prepare for the visit of an important official, while the patients react to grief or deal with active trauma. In the midst of these and many other interlocking and overlapping stories, Casey spends time with the patients, learning about their lives, and as the stories unfold, discovering what she can do to help. So I thought this sounded interesting because I think there's 12 characters that you interact with overall on this, on this airship hospital you see in the picture. And the characters aren't waiting around for you to come talk to them. Like they're, they're moving around, they're chatting to each other, they'll chat to you, you can follow them, you can interact with them, you can overhear them. So you're kind of piecing stuff together based on what order you're doing stuff in, which I thought is kind of interesting because there's potential there for multiple, there's a lot of opportunity for replayability there, I think. But let's begin. This is a demo. So let's see how it goes. You are about to play as Casey, a teenager who lives in a small town above which an airborne hospital is moored. Your mum, Ruth, the head nurse, has asked you to come up to the ship for a few days to keep the patients company. Secretly, you are planning to write an article for your school newspaper about the ship. Use the notes in the notebook to investigate your story. Board the hospital. All right, here we are. Now, who are you? I'm Casey. Oh, there's time. The name's Esther. What's yours? Um, Casey? I'm Casey. Wonderful name. Very original. Uh, I'm Esther. Nice to meet ya. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've gotta go solve a mystery about a goat. Okay, Esther. Casey? Casey, come here. I spoke her. She said she's up for it. Right, okay. All right. Lily, this is Casey. Hi, Casey. I'll be busy in the general ward, so come see Lily if you need anything. Whew. Now, your job is to go to each of the patient's rooms and spend some time with them. Okay. Oh, Lily, did you find a spare fob? Yeah, I think so. It's here somewhere. See if the patients need anything, but otherwise just give them a bit of company. Okay, so you're my mom, probably. Got that? Yep. I don't know what I just did. Great. Alright, catch you later, Case. Bye, Mom. Okay, here you go. You can use it to keep track of the time. A lot goes on in a hospital. You can't be everywhere at once. I'll be busy today, so you're going to have to choose how you spend your own time. What do you do? Oh, me? Well, I'm a nurse, so some days it feels like a bit of everything. A lot of everything. When Joni quit, she left some big shoes to fill. The main thing is we've got to make sure the patients don't feel neglected. Alright now. Mrs. Vaughn's room is just down the hall. That's a good place to start. She's really friendly. If I'm not off doing something, I'm usually just here. So head back anytime you need help. Say? Uh, who's Joni? Hey, Lily. Yes? Who is Joni? Joni? Joni was a nurse here. She quit a couple of weeks back. Well, I say quit, but she just stopped showing up, I guess. I'm a little stressed by how time is just going all the time. 
Do you know why Joni quit? Oh, I don't know. Joe might. I never got to meet her. Do you know much about the airship? Before it was a hospital? Like when it was just a wreck? Uh, before that. Where did it come from? Europe somewhere. Every so often we find something or other with a bit of foreign writing on it. German looking. Though some of it looked a bit more Spanish to me. Oh! Ted might know more about it. The shuttle operator. He spends a lot of time up here. I don't know where he goes off to. But he got the shuttle working. I'm sure he'd know more about the ship. Where can I find him? I'm not sure, to be honest. You might be able to catch him in the hall every now and then. Thanks, Lily. No worries. Oh my goodness. So I can click on these, but they don't do anything. Just... Okay, so that just pauses. I can't, like, just... I can take a moment to be like, whew. Okay. <laughs> What do I want to do? Time's a ticking down. Um, you know, obviously, if you're not making up voices and, like, actually reading out the lines out loud, you can read through this pretty, you know, in time and not be like, holy crap, I gotta catch up with the dialogue. <laughs> um, so that, that part's fine. It's, uh, I like that it's real time. Like, you can't just be like, oh, hmm. Although I, I would kind of like it if there was a mode where you can like click through at your own pace. Because I'm, I'm sure there's some people that would have a hard time keeping up with the pace of reading it, even if it is in their head. But anyway, that's just my initial impression so far. Let's look around. Whoa. Okay, so is this... How we... Okay, so that's how we navigate. Okay. Hello, dear. Come in, come in. Casey Balmaris. My, you must have grown a mile a minute since I last saw you. How tall you've grown. Nice to see you, Mrs. Vaughn. Ida, please. Ida, we're all friends here. Welcome to the hospital. Come in, please. Make yourself at home. Um... Next, previous. Um, this feels weird. What does, dear? Just, I don't know. Are you okay with me being in your room? Oh, of course. Let me let you in on a secret. We oldies love company. We'll just tell you if we want some time to ourselves. Uh, but what should I be doing? Just do whatever you're comfortable with, dear. Be sure to enjoy your day t today. Um. Do you know anything about this airship? A little, I suppose. I'm writing an article about the airship. I'm going to discover its mysteries and reveal them to the world. Oh, hello. Ah, how thrilling! What would you like to know? Do you know where it came from? Not really, unfortunately. I mean, the brochure said that it used to be a luxury German airliner. Oh, Esther Pross would be a good person to ask. He was a passenger on the ship, I believe. Back when it was in commission. His room is on the level below this one in the same spot, I think. Oh. Oh, who are... Wait. Darcy, right? Mrs. B's kid. Uh. It's, um, Casey. Not, um, Casey. Just Casey. Sure. Joe. All good in here? Oh. As ever. Any unusual pains? Any issues with your knee this morning? Oh, it's a bit stiff, but 
It isn't causing me trouble. We got Alrighty. voice acting. Good stuff, Mrs. V. See you at lunch. Okay, things aren't quite matching up dialogue-wise, unfortunately. Thank you, Joe. Good stuff, Mrs. V. See you at lunch. Goodbye. <laughs> I like that she just looks at him. Turn around, turn around. Um... I wanted to ask about the people who work here. Other than Mum. Oh, well, I know a few of them. There's the nurses. Joe, who was just here before. And Lily, who I assume you've met. Ted, who runs the shuttle. Devin, the cook. Then there's Dr. Shen and... Who is it? Dr. Alavi. And the director, of course, Mr. Pettigrew. Um... I haven't seen any doctors. Oh, they only come this way when they're needed. Usually they're in one of the other wards. Dr. Shen shares an office with your mom. The one just down the hall. You might catch her in it occasionally. Thanks. You're welcome, dear. It was like a little memory test. There was a nurse that quit recently. Joni? Oh, I haven't heard that name in a little while. Yes, Joni. What was she like? She was funny, that's for sure. Whenever you went by the nurse's station, one of them would be giggling. About what I never knew. Who would Joni be laughing with at the nurse's station? Oh, well, Joe. Joni and Joe. Those two were thick as thieves. Hmm. Do you know why she quit? No. No, I don't. Well, I could guess at it, I suppose. She didn't seem very happy here. She was under a lot of stress. Hmm. Okay. I'll leave it there for now. Is there anything else I want to... Have you heard about a VIP coming to visit? What's that? A very important person. Oh? No, not really. That's a strange term. It's strange? What makes a person so very important? You know, compared to anyone else. Oh. Well, I'm not sure, my dear. Maybe it's a pop star. What was the name of that fellow? He had a movie come out. The Man Who Fell Down? That's not right. <laughs> Do you have any other clues? No, unfortunately. We'll just have to wait and see. Do you know what palliative is? Oh, what's the word? Ah, uh, hospice. That's it. it. It's end of life care, basically. They know you're going to die. So they make you as comfortable as possible in your final days. Why do you ask? I overheard a nurse say it. Ah, uh, I see. Is everything all right? It's just scary. Why would they stop trying to make them better? It's a hard thing to understand. Especially for someone with so much life ahead of them. But for us, passing on is a reality. People around us pass away. Family, friends. When your time comes and that there's nothing to be done. You want to be looked after. Okay. Does that pause time when you look at your notes? Yes. Okay, that's a relief. Mum, she works at the hospital, so I guess I should have a page for her. Mum wants me to visit each patient and spend time with them. 
Okay. Ida. She seems really friendly. Kind of like a grandma, I guess. Lily. She's one of the nurses. Apparently, I should go see her at the nurse's station if I need any help. Esther. Patient. Said something about a mystery with a goat? Question mark? I might go and have a look around. Okay, then. I'll see you later, dear. So can I... Okay, so I can't just click around. I have to look. And then pick a spot. The old man's room. That sounds promising. I really love the art style. It reminds me of a cartoon show that I used to watch years ago, but I can't for the life of me think what it was. I want to say it was like Pippi Longstocking or something, but I don't know if that's just the main character reminds me of her. Disturb the old man. Um. Who is there? You are not a nurse. I'm, um, Casey. I am Mr. Pross. You may sit if you'd like. Thank you, Mr. Pross. Um, I wanted to ask you about the airship. The Grafin is the fellow. I know some. I would voyage upon the Bella before the war when I was young. Perhaps ask me more after my rest. Oh, okay. The boy, Theodore, he knows much of the ship. Where is he? Perhaps the cafeteria. Thanks, Mr. Pross. Can I help you with anything, Mr. Pross? Help? No, thanking you. Or I could take you somewhere if you need. I'm quite all right. Just here. Okay. Do you know why Joni quit? Joni? The nurse. Joni. Joni. It is familiar. I am old. My memory. Do you remember the other nurses? The new nurse, Lily. And I remember Giuseppe. I haven't met Giuseppe. Oh, Joe. Oh. I do not remember Joni. I am sorry. Aw, it's okay, Mr. Press. You've got a lot of stuff. Mm, gifts from my family. All right, well, good talk, I guess. I might leave you for now. Is that okay? Do as you wish. Okay. Can I over here? Lunchtime, Mr. P. I don't really want to go back in again. I feel like I'm going to be rude. Okay. Hold on a second. Let's read. Mr. Press traveled on this airship when he was younger. Is there anything that was added? Doesn't look like it. Can I just listen in? <laughs> For science. Oh! <laughs> hey, Casey. Mr. Press here is having lunch. Can I help? Help. Look. It is fine. She can stay. All right. Set over there. I'm just saying you might need help with that soup that you're carrying, sir. Sir, the soup! The soup! 
<laughs> Mr. Press, Mr. Press? Okay. I might actually... Yeah. Not much going on here. See you later, Joe. See ya. I already said goodbye to him, so... <laughs> um, let's go to the... Other cafeteria, I guess. I mean, other cafeteria? Other patient room is what it... Man, my brain. What? Dr. Bouchard? What are you here for? Time to turn me sunny side up! What do you mean? I mean, what is your purpose here? I'm here with my mum. Well, you're in the wrong room. Why do you think that? There's no other explanation. As to why you're bothering me. I'm just meant to come to visit and keep people company. Well, I have no desire for company. Good day. Good, good day. Well, no company for her, I guess. And palliative care means she is dying and they are trying to make her comfortable. Dr. Bouchard, she seems really angry. Did I do something wrong? Okay. I wish I could catch up with Esther. I could read for a while? Oh, apparently that's all I can do. It's after lunch. Read something. You've had a busy day, young lady. It's time to read a book. <laughs> The scripted event. He was going to be on 70 something on Sunday. <laughs> you haven't done anything funny with this, have you? I didn't today nor yesterday, and I won't tomorrow either. I won't be anybody's proxy, I tell you. Oh, wow. So it's, it's over. That was super fast. <laughs> Thank you for playing our demo. If you enjoyed it, please consider the following links where you can add us to your wish list, say good day on Twitter, or join our little Discord. That's super cute. I think I might do one more now that I understand a bit more about how the mechanics work and just go see some other characters. Because I, I really spent my time with <laughs> I felt rude for, like, just getting to the point. Like, you'll give me them deets, though. <laughs> like, uh, you know, what's your story? Why are you here? What do you know about the ship? What's going on? So there's, like, some kind of mystery regarding Joni. Okay, so I can't skip through the beginning. Hi, Esther. Um, Casey. Okay. So it all leads to the same thing anyway. <laughs> Even if you answer in time. Well, good luck with your goat. And she vanished into little dots and went downstairs. Okay. Can't, I thought maybe I could click, but I cannot click. Okay, so I won't spend as much time with Lily, maybe. Although learning about Joni was interesting. It would be nice if they gave you the option to click through dialogue as you go through multiple times as well. That may be something that is added later. That's just not in the demo right now. I got it, Mom. Picked up my invisible book, wrote it down, so I won't forget it. Thank you, Lily. I 
I got it. Um, so let's... Okay, so I, I really can't skip through. I guess that goes with the whole idea of it's just, you know, everything's progressing in its own time. Okay, there we go. We learned about Joni. That's good. Still want to have that info going forward. And I talked to Mrs. Vaughn already. Okay. I'm gonna leave right away. Look around. Let's go to some other places. Who lives on the top floor? We never went up there at all, our first go around. Ooh, some lovely flowers and plants. Hello. <laughs> Smile friendly. Ah, uh, hello? <laughs> Stay for now. Um, excuse me, what's your name? Hmm. Um, goodbye then. <laughs> I don't want to go like too close and then she freaks out or something. The old woman's room. <laughs> um, okay. I didn't go to this patient either. Could always ask Lily about the lady upstairs, potentially. I feel like Joe wasn't very friendly, but he was best friends with Joni, it seemed, and then she left under maybe not the best circumstances. Ah, uh, Esther! Finally found you! Hi again. Who are you? Uh, Casey. My mom works here. Mrs. Bomaris? Ah, the head proctor! And I suppose she sent you to keep an eye on me. Why would you think that? Are you alright? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. I just haven't been given my medicine yet. Now, why are you in my room? I'm meant to spend time with you. With each of the patients. Well, in that case, come in already. Have a seat over there. I love your room. It's so pretty. Ooh, that's smart. This'll do the trick. Yell out with answers if you got them. I'm not precious. Answers for what? Shh. I'm concentrating. What did you mean about the goat? What? Which goat? This morning, outside the elevator. You said something about a mystery. About a mountain goat. Right! You want to switch places? <laughs> Mrs. Esther. I didn't tell you to call me Mrs. and I don't want it. I'm done with being a missus. Sorry. Never got much out of it anyway. Ha! Huh. Well, what is it? What do you know about the airship? What business is it of yours? I'm writing an article. Are you now? I'm a journalist. I'm sure you are. Is it a secret? There are plenty of secrets around here. Secrets in the present. Secrets of the past. The future is the only thing that's clear, really. I want to uncover the mystery. The mystery of the ship. 
Be careful, Missy. Set out to discover a mystery. The mystery might discover you. You don't believe me? I'm writing for my school paper. School paper? Never heard of it. Forget what I said. I know diddly squat about this place. Except that it's staffed by nitwits. <laughs> She's like, whew. Alright, well, on that note. Excuse me? Yes? How long did you say you'd been be around? Um, Mom said it should be three days. Oh, well, I won't keep you. Off you go. Okay, so... Bye-bye! Bye, Esther. Uh, let's go here. We might be able to catch Lily. Don't know if we will, but I'm gonna try. So, it seems like the finish game will give you three days to run around. Chat to everybody. He's got real... Mr. Avery. Acumen, you know. Mr. Avery. Yes? You cannot drink coffee. Right, yes, of course. But look, I know what this is all about. What? Look, you're doing a great job around here. I see it. And on Sunday, I will personally let the VIP know all about it. You just... Look, you're not supposed to have coffee. On my honor, you'll never catch me with the stuff again. I'll let him know. I'm sure you will. <laughs> okay, so we, like, eavesdropped on that conversation. Okay, see? I'm going on break for a bit. I'll be back here later on. Okay. See you in a bit. It's important for a mentor to be too available, too present. It will ultimately diminish you in the esteem of your junior colleague. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello there. Hello. That's right, you're the Bomaris girl. And of course, that's why you're here. It all comes together. Um, so, I'm... My name is Casey. Casey, is it? Very well, very well. My name is Neil Avery. You might have heard of me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Come on in. Please, have a seat. I like that we sit on their beds most of the time, when there's like a chair right in the room. Um... Mr. Avery, can you tell me what you know about the VIP? How did you... Very well, very well. I suppose you've earned it. I have had some information intimated to me by a certain influential person who I cannot name. There's a very important person visiting in a few days. A VIP from the government. On Sunday, around midday. That's all I can say for now. Okay. Mr. Avery, did you know Joni? Joni. Joni! Yes, of course. Where is she? Have you seen her recently? I only heard about her recently. Someone said that she quit recently. Oh, drat. Yes, yes, a few weeks ago. Well, I couldn't tell you why. She just up and left, along with three of my books. I'd been lending her spare copies of a few of my nascent works. Do you know who would know more? Oh, Esther. Mrs. Fitzgerald. She's sharp. And she has certain uncanny... Abilities. How would Mrs. Fitzgerald know more? I think she'd prefer to induct you. I'll just say that I, for one, can vouch for Esther's astuteness. Thanks, Mr. Avery. Oh, not at all, my dear. Okay. Wonder if I can catch her again. 
I might leave for the moment. I see. Very well, my dear. I like him. I think I like him the most out of everybody so far. Um... Okay... She seems to be gone, unfortunately. I want to take a look at what else we've got. Okay, so there's the nurse's break room. So there's multiple areas to the ship, so that's pretty cool. And who are you? Oh, hey. Um, hi. Casey, right? I'm Ted. You can sit if you want. Cool. What's the soup today? Um. <laughs> so you're the shuttle pilot? Long, awkward pause. Yeah, pretty much. I do other bits and bobs every now and then, but only get paid for the shuttle. How did you get the job? Me and Dad got the shuttle working again. When they wanted to get up here, we know how to run it. What's the shuttle schedule? Oh, there is one before sunrise, around five, then another at breakfast. That's the one you were on. One after lunch, then there's two more round trips. Sundown, then late night. That's a long day to work. It's alright. I catch a few winks after the early morning trip. Okay. I'll leave it at that. I might keep looking around. Nods in the infer in the affirmative. I should actually read. Mr. Avery loves his coffee. Mr. Avery, a writer? I think he's a patient here too. I met a woman with blonde hair who wouldn't talk to me. I don't know her name. Ted, shuttle pilot. Glad there's another non-adult around. <laughs> okay, and that's all we've got, eh? Um, where is Lily going? Ah, let's see if we can do some more snooping. Hi, Joe. Bye, Joe. I'm speeding down to snoop for my article. Although by the time I get down the stairs, I might not be able to do it anymore. Might be time to read by that point. Joe's already given you your medicine this morning. I need my pills! Those pills are powerful painkillers. You can't have another dose till after lunch. There was no first dose. This is medical malpractice. You know, I haven't seen a doctor in over a week. And now you're not giving me my pills. We already gave them to you this morning. It's in the records. Anyway, that stuff you give me is a joke. It does nothing for the pain or for the nausea. This vessel's eternal bobbing and swaying? I swear it wasn't like this when I arrived. Shoddy worksmanship, I say. I'll let Dr. Shen know you've been having some motion sickness. Anything else for right now? Orange juice. What's the magic word? What am I, an infant? No one's too old for manners. Oh, and now I'm too old, am I? Just the orange juice, then? Yes, and thanking you. Poor Lily. I heard you could induct me. Back already, eh? Yes. Well, you seem to have taken a keen interest in my goings-on. Hmm. You can come in, I suppose. Thank you. Could you induct me before I have to read? Apparently not. Now let's see. An Aquarius, are you? 
I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What's, when's your birthday, child? October 20th. A Libra, then. I should have known. Very airy. Very airy indeed. What do you mean, airy? Oh, nothing. In any case, Libra is a lovely sign to be. Now, would you say you're a peaceful person? I think so. Ha! Typical Libra. Not even a straightforward yes or no. And you like company, is that right? I actually prefer it to be by myself. That's what you think now because you're young. What about the arts? I like reading and TV. Of course you do. Good, very good. Embracing the arts so early in life. Most people come to appreciate the arts far later on. You Libras don't know how lucky you are. What's your sign? Well, that's private. You'll know too much about me if you know that. Far, far too much. Fine. All right, Esther, here's your juice. Ha! It pays to have you around here, kid. Compared to yesterday, that was quick as a flash. Oh, I'm just like, zoom. <laughs> I don't care. Um, well, I think I'm auto running right now. <laughs> just zooming me off to my reading spot. That's interesting. Because Esther was here last last time we did this, in the different order we did. All right, there you go. Thank you for playing our demo. That was a lot of fun. There's a couple of things, that, like nice to have things, I think would be nice to have. <laughs> uh, like being able to read through at your own pace would be a nice thing, for sure. Um, and being able to skip the introductory dialogue for doing multiple playthroughs would also be nice. But all in all, that was... It was cute. I, I love the art style. The music's great. There's a little bit of voice acting. I don't know how extended that will be in the full game. Um, but the cast of characters is definitely very eccentric. <laughs> There's some lovable ones in there, though. And uh, some, some ones that I would definitely be more interested in getting to know. You can get hints of a, a mystery going on behind the scenes, too. So, yeah, all in all, pretty cool, I thought. I hope you guys enjoyed my look at Wayward Strand today. Um, so if you'd like to check the demo out for yourself, I will have a link to it down below in the description. The release date, I believe, is sometime later this year. Um, so, yeah. I guess we'll see how this develops as it goes. But that is it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks again for joining me. And until next time, I will see you later.